Hello everybody, my name is Untold Gamer and welcome to Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a roguelike Metroidvania action platformer where you'll be exploring a sprawling, ever-changing castle. Assuming you're able to fight your way past its keepers in a 2D Souls-like combat. No checkpoints, kill, die, learn, and repeat. I've played this game for a few hours, uh, just basically to get the combat down and you know learn a little bit about the game what weapons are good what weapons are bad uh, so I can make a good playthrough of it and almost immediately I was hooked and I was like this is gonna be an epic playthrough if I decide to do anything with it um, I basically have a main weapon a, a sub weapon two skills and you try to go as far as you can killing and looting everything possible lost our head now did we me? Yeah, I did. Well, nothing to say for yourself? Oh. Well, yes, I see the problem. I suppose you didn't think to find yourself back here. But surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. I was like this with others. For a while. He's like, well, where are they? You can do better than this. I'll screw you, bro. Uh, see... And almost before every run, I'm kind of confused as to whether to bring a ranged weapon or something that can block. Uh, this shield pretty much doesn't do a whole lot of everything. Blocking, you know, it's it's like Dark Souls. It takes a while to pull out your shield and block. You basically use those immunity frames in order to um, block the attack. The attacks are pretty obvious, but, I mean, still, I probably am going to go with the bow for right now. I generally try to trade it for something a little bit better, but... Um, sometimes you just really don't find anything and that it really sucks. I'm going to try and go a little bit slower, uh, this, these first maybe like three episodes, uh, after that I'm going to, you know, go back to my normal, my normal speed here. Um, there's a few extremely basic enemies, you've got the red guys and they throw some bombs and the, the green guys, they do this little, like, like, uh, like charge attack and then they also have um, a uh, a little like little swing just like that and it, it, they're all pretty basic and the greed shield's really good did we i hope it doesn't unlock everything that i've already got unlocked because it's it's like a good like 25 percent of the items i already have unlocked in just a few hours so i don't think it's um it's really like a super long playthrough of the game but it's designed to be played through like a ton, but um, some of the some of the stuff in here is a, a lot of fun, and I mean a lot. That's the shop, and we don't have enough money. Our gold is in the bottom left. It's the little um, little yellow coin. Uh, just above it is actually our cells, and our cells are used in order to upgrade things so we can unlock more. Um, oh, it didn't it didn't save everything because we don't have a, a health potion yet. Which is probably one of the most important parts of just about any game where you can lose health, but still. Oh yeah, we don't have the we don't have the level one rune either. That sucks. Floors are pretty big, but also at the same time pretty basic. Oh yes, the scroll of power. Now the scrolls you can upgrade your health, your strength, and your skills. Your strength obviously increases your weapon damage, and our skills, which you haven't seen yet, uh, get a lower cooldown timer and uh, they also do more damage so I'm gonna take strength for right now and twin daggers is actually my favorite weapon in the entire game because it's amazing uh, because it always inflicts a critical blow on the third consecutive hit so they also do a, a ton more damage than the uh, standard rusty sword it's basically like a small prison shank and then and then you got these little purple guys whenever you get a little bit farther into the uh, into the first floor and they disappear after a little bit, but still. Yes, first treasure chest. Kick this bitch open. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got some better twin daggers. Actually got a 10% damage increase. Not a whole lot, but eventually later on in the game, we'll definitely be able to get that a lot higher. And the reason you see me... Oh, it does fire a ball? Oh, it fires an arrow in front of me? Oh, bro. Bro. The arrow is clutch as fuck. Always. And the little, little like, I don't know what, what really to call it, the dive uh, after you jump does a really good job on stunning enemies. 
so that you can get um, one extra hit. And the the little scroll with the the lightning on it uh, is an increase to your skills. You can't you can't choose where you put your extra skill on um, one of those scrolls. Got some amethyst. Dang, finding everything this first run. Yeah, see, especially for the shield guys. Roll is definitely one of the most important parts of this game. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna spend uh, a thousand for some throwing knives. Throwing knives in this game are, are pretty crappy. I'd like to say that I'm pretty all right at this game, but I'm not really sure. We got the blood sword blueprint. I don't like the blood sword much, but it is better than the uh, than the standard sword. It does a little bit less damage, but it um it inflicts bleed. So it's, it's pretty tight. Can be pretty tight with some uh, extra increases, and if you can get it upgraded. Oh. This guy. There, you again. Interesting. I'm the collector. And I'm about the closest thing to company you will get to. In exchange for the cells you pillage from your foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. If you uncover any blueprints, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. So that blueprint that we got earlier, that's our blood sword. And we gotta, we gotta get the healing potion one, which you will get immediately. You know, on a health flask, you can use it any time. Left bumper. And it's awesome. We're gonna use our other five for gold recovery. And that, that's gonna help us with the shops. Um, y you basically need gold recovery three in order to be able to buy anything straight away, but everything you buy here is yours forever. Not even death can take it from you. Simply put, if you want more power, then bring me more cells. Now, prisoner, out of my sight. Your presence goes tiring. I'm in. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to use this little flask machine thing to get more health. More health and refill our, our little flask. You end up getting like a beaker and a, and a, little, a little cauldron and whatever. It's pretty cool. I like it. This is actually level two. I didn't make it to level two until like my... Oh no, I made it to level two my first time. I didn't make it to level three until like my fourth play. That's what I'm talking about. The ye little yellow like mist that comes up is really helpful. And of course with any... With any good... Oh! This is how you get fucked. Surprised you didn't take more damage there. It's because I'm awesome. With any good um, level expansive game, you know, you get some more enemies. You get some new attack types. Okay, I thought I would roll past him. I guess not. As you can see, the roll is incredibly important. Uh, I'll pay for level 2 bear trap. Oh, that's a level 1? Oh, that sucks. This is our first skill, which is pretty late in the game. You can generally find... Your first skill, or even two in level one. So you can tell the attacks are extremely obvious, but once you start getting into more and more enemies at one point, it you're, you're going to need that obviousness. It's almost supposed to be speed ran a little bit, but at this point we don't have anything that would really help us with speed running. So, and there's not a whole lot that um, you know. That, that gives you anything better for uh, speedrunning at this point. So we got the horizontal turret, which is my favorite skill. Oh, I thought there was an enemy over there. I'm just waiting for them to just bum rush me. It's gonna be awful. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's made to be speedran. Uh, door was sealed 2 minutes and 11 seconds ago. But there's like 2 of those per level. At least in the second level, which is the one I'm obviously most familiar with. Level one's the basics. I'm gonna use our feeling flask. That's oh well. So we don't actually have the ability to open that yet. I think this is our first boss. Boss, quote unquote. Yeah. Okay. Boss battle, first level, first episode. Let's hit it. We're gonna use our bear trap kind of a lot here. It's gonna be elite. An elite little marksman dude. Oh, you gotta tank it. Oh, yeah. The vine rune permanently allows you to interact with some vines. And there's this cool animation. Rune permanently gives you the ability to grow climbable vines. Bam! Oh, yeah. It actually took me... 
man, I don't know how many playthroughs in order to kill him. Maybe like two or three? Possibly. But I, I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Ow. I'm thoroughly enjoying taking whole hoodles of damage from spikes. That's my favorite thing to do on the weekends, you know? I mean, it's on, it's on my to-do list, practically. Alright, so there's no there's no little shield guys. And y you'll, you'll see, the little force field shield is, is crap. Oh, here he is. Okay, well, you didn't really see what he did there, because I'm just so awesome at this game. Just, just killed him instantly. Aw, oh, yeah. Kind of just crushing everything at this point. Oh yeah. It's a good run. It's because of the twin daggers, I promise. Whoop. Oh, goodness. Oh, I forgot it's an arrow, not a throwing knife. Throwing knives will actually penetrate one enemy. And cause bleed and do raw damage. More treasure! Bah! Greed shield? Three? I mean, we're not really using our greed shield, but it's nice to have something that you can just kind of go, Wah! Like, no, 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 hi -ya. Get some extra gold from the Greed Shield as well. If you parry an attack correctly, you get a little gold tooth and it's worth 20 gold. And it's, it's basically useless unless you can, you know, use your shield really effectively, which I can't. Yeah, I think the raw damage from increasing our power is really helping us out here. I try not to go for health that often. Mostly just, um, whenever it tries to give it to me. Okay, so now you can see this little little wooden like practice dummy uh, he's actually giving his um, he's actually giving a force field to the other enemies which really does suck he's gonna do straight away damage oh what is that a fire grenade I don't have that one Telling you the twin daggers is amazing. Tried to explain to my buddy, but he didn't believe me. Oh no! No, we're super low on health. You see the kind of souls in there? How? There's no, there's no checkpoints. The little teleporters. I don't, I don't really use them that often. But they do help sometimes. Now you are trying to speed run. Okay. Where to next? Down here? I don't remember what's down here. I don't think this would be the sewers, but I'm basically looking for more scrolls. Once you start getting a lot of scrolls, you can start doing some mad damage. Oh, we got an ice grenade. Uh, what's it doing? 47? It's not that great. Everything in this game is procedurally generated, so it's not like the maps are the exact same um, every single time, but it's it's pretty close. You get You get little... It's like puzzle pieces being fit together. I'm nervous about the white guy. Racist. It's the little gorilla man. Oh! They do so much damage. And that's the first run over. Shit. And you, you never fully die, so it's fine. We're gonna pick up some of our gold and back already. Well, it doesn't seem to be going all that well for you. No, no, no. Have you noticed how everything seems a little bit different each time? One would think that the island is alive. I wonder if, what do you make of all this? We're gonna pick up our dead man's purse, which is 25% of our gold, which is 502 pieces. Gonna grab the shield this time. So I can show that off just a little bit. Hang on. Blocked. Yeah. There are other shields that you know do that do like damage. Some cause bleed, and others they others they like the green shield. They give you gold. Oh dang it. I thought it was for some reason it registered as the other side of the door for me. Whatever. Gotta get on the other side of these green guys. They'll rush you and it just... 
a surprising amount of damage. Oh, six. Yeah, breaking through the door will will give you an extra. That little extra stun. It's the stun that will. Oh yeah, not too bad. Took one hit. From the rush, and then he just kind of stands there like a flippin' idiot, like me. We'll get the frost blast, which isn't bad. It's just and it freezes enemies. You haven't seen freeze yet, so I'll, I'll do it a few times. Oh goodness, how do I get out of here? Oh, okay, you're gonna go this way. Well, look at me, not even knowing how to operate the map. What's to our left? Enemies, hello? Hello? I haven't actually beaten the first like full boss yet. I swear, he's, he's overpowered as crap. Uh, Sturdy Shield 2? No. See, you don't you don't always gotta have to go for the items, which I I really like. Cause if you did, I'd I'd be screwed. I rely too much on my twin daggers. You understand? Come on, now it's getting. Oh nope, we don't want to go to the toxic sewers. That's quite a bit harder than the Promand of the Condemned. Come on now. Now we're just exploring. Oh yeah, score the power! Definitely gonna go for strength. I, that's... Pretty much my, uh... My go-to for my first upgrade is, um... Is strength. So what we just picked up was a flashbang, which basically is, like, all stun. There's grenades, ice grenades. I guess there's a fire grenade? Like, what the heck? Oh, there's a grenade too. 30 plus on the damage. I love the twin daggers. Oh, what is it? 1500? Not much. Get extra for skills. Flashbang. And go to town. Yeah, just, just spam X. It's totally fine. He's like, whoa, bro. I'm like, yeah, bro. Pick it back up. Stun, but of course the shield guy does not get stunned. Oh no. There we go, that was a double. Good movement abilities. And there's the command of the condemned. We still have our healing flask, so like the collector said, everything stays forever. Horizontal turret, easily the best skill that I have found so far, so we're gonna put everything in there. I want it as fast as humanly possible. Basically, crap, just gonna refill like 12 points of health, but it's fine. I think it was 12, maybe. Go back, do some math for me. Tell me how bad my math is. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> if you're asking me why I'm breaking all these doors, it's because they close behind me, and then if I ever get in a fight, it's like, now I have to deal with it. Get another skill. How good is our flashbang? 61 damage and 3 seconds? Not bad. It's a 6 second recharge time though. Really good for those enemies. Any any skill that does like AoE damage is really good for those little white bat things. I don't know what they're called. The old sewers? Is there anything else over here? No. The old sewers is just as bad as the regular sewers. It's a little bit harder, actually, because your poison damage is greater. You can get poison, you can get bleed, anything like that. It's just like any other roguelike, really. I might do two runs per episode to start off with, and then once we start getting a little bit farther... Oh. Oh no, I thought I would roll just far enough. He did 40 damage. You can actually regain health a little bit 
uh, whenever you attack immediately after getting hit. So it does want you to go a little bit more aggressive, but... I'm really glad it doesn't make you unlock your... your... Double. See, here's a little scroll of health. Hiya! Health was increased by 41 points. It, it looks like it's more than it actually is. Oh, here, we found a secret room with 120 gold. It's 120 gold we didn't have, good sir. Oh, wow, I didn't even know he was down there. I'm really glad he got stunned because I was an idiot and continued attacking even though I know he was attacking. That was a long sentence. Oh man. What's down here? Oh, dunk. A little shop. Uh, nothing good. We'll get out of here. Going up! Dude, imagine if elevators were like that. I would be so happy. And if they were that epic? Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, and no one with a shield has to apparently adhere to any rules of the game. Little baby enemies don't have to get shielded either, but now we've got this one white guy on us. Now we got two. Oh, that was a really good play. That was a really good pop on a flashbang. Oh yeah. The range on this is kind of funky, so... You gotta fiddle fuck with it. Oh, I thought that- there's a guy over here. Might as well use the flashbang on him, get a little extra damage. Just a little bit faster. You can already see the difference between level 1 and level 2. It's pretty substantial. I thought that was my character. Oh no, I know. Yep, got it. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Didn't figure I'd do to test my health in like 3.2 seconds. Oh, but I think that's going to have to be it for the first episode. So if you did enjoy, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you want to support the series of the channel. And I will see you guys next time.